The next session is Education in Thailand, presented by Dr. Panya Gao Giyun. Dr. Panya, please. Good morning, everyone. So, so my name is Punya Kauki Yoon, uh, Inspector General of Ministry of Education. But this session, normally, uh, Dr. Bentelak Namfa, she is a Deputy Secretary General of the Office of the Basic Education Commission, going to present to you about Thai education. But she is quite busy right now. So um, it's still just okay. Just allow uh, 30 minutes. I will talk to you about. Thai education in brief. Okay. Uh, the first one that may I use? That's okay. This is Thai education. Next, please. Uh, in Thailand, this is uh, we take a part of the five uh, region in the southern part uh, on the Ping one, and the southern part is the Bangkok. And northeastern, in the yellow one, the big one in the eastern part of Thailand, and eastern. Eastern is a uh, uh, near near to Vietnam, near to Vietnam, and Khmer, and Cambodia. Sorry. Um, so in the northern part is a is we consider of a 17th province, something like this. So this is a. Uh, the big picture of the Thailand uh, area. The next one, please. Mm, on uh, the basic data, we have an area just about uh, 514,000 uh, 514, kil square kilometers. And population right now, we have a 66.5 million and for labor force, there's a working uh, men and women, it's just about 38.96 million. We have the life expectancy right now. This man is at 69.5, and female, uh, 70, 76.3. So yet, uh, that's why female is a, a long life. Uh, more than men. Yeah. Okay. And anyway, it's a little tracy list. Mm, right now we have a 96.4 percent. So we have so some people just allow uh, 0.6 percent is is not led to functional literacy uh, because uh, there's some problem that's uh, moved to. And then. I would like to show you about a little bit about Ministry of Education right now. Um, uh, be before, okay, move. Uh -huh. In Ministry of Education, next please. We start for education reform in Thailand in 1997. At that time, the constitution uh, that uh, let uh, Thai education had, had to be reformed. So we have the constitution on 1997 plus uh, education, National Education Act in 1999. We said that all Thai citizens have the right and duty to obtain uh, 12 years education provision and nine years compulsory education. This one is really important because we including to children, youth, women, the elderly, the underprivileged, uh, the people of disability, and give that person. This one we had to know what left behind, like in the United States, like in England, in UK. Uh, for Ministry of Education, right now we take a part of two five office, as a big five, five office. 
The first one is the uh, Office of the Education Council at located in Bangkok. Uh, Office of the Permanent Secretary that you listen for, for uh, from Permanent Secretary uh, Dr. Sasitala before me. Okay. And, and then uh, I talked to Office of the Basic Education Commission that you will work for in six weeks uh, from now. Okay. And uh, two office left is the Office of the Vocational Education Commission and Office of Higher Education Commission that's to take care of the university and college in Thailand. <coughs> it's structure of the Ministry of Education like this. Uh, we will have a fire office. Uh, you can see this uh, uh, one, two, three, four, and five we forgot on today is the uh, Office of the Basic Education Commission. We said it's uh, OBEC. The OBEC is up to the Ministry of Education that it formed the Office of the Minister, uh, Office of the Monitoring and Evaluation, and independent agencies like a teacher council, something like this. And then Office of the Basic Education, that we work for basic education. We have the three levels. The first one is the Office of the Basic Education Commission, that's a, in a certain part of the Ministry of Education. And then uh, in the province, we have a 225 education service area. 200 uh, educational service area is a Comprise of uh, primary or elementary education service area, 183. And for secondary education service area, is uh, 42 uh, office that, that you enjoy. You enjoy with uh, this area when you go to um, the province. And then uh, the level that's work for education is uh, uh, approximately uh, 31,828 schools that they set the education from uh, preschool until uh, upper, high school, upper secondary school. That include uh, spe special education schools in 40 school, and special education center at all the 76 province, 76 office. So at the three level, we the office of the Basic Education Commission, at the education service area, and schools that we work for basic education now. Uh, what is the Office of the Basic Education Commission come from? I would like to show you a bit, just about uh, 10 years ago. That at that time, we worked for uh, education reform. Uh, Office of the Basic Education Commission, next please. Uh, this will come from uh, the former office, three offices, the Department of General Education that uh, in charge of secondary education, and the Office of the National Primary Education Commission, or ONPEC, uh, in charge of elementary education, and Curriculum and Instructional Development Office, CID. These are three offices come together, to come by, uh, go to be Office of the Basic Education Commission right now. And for our office, it's been Office of the Basic Education Commission is a comprise of, so we have uh, some structure a bit, where I show you. Yeah. Well, right now we have uh, just about 17 departments in OBEC. This is a, the structure of the Office of the Basic Education Commission uh, that we work uh, for uh, internal audit unit and then top. 
and then executive bureau. That I worked for just about six years. I work in executive bureau, and we have a uh, the author bureau in the certain part. Uh, most of them right now locate in Ministry of Education in Radamnernok, not far from here, just about five kilometers from here. I'm sorry, this is uh, not showing picture, but you can see after this. What is the role and function of the uh, Office of the Basic Education Commission? Next, please. Mm. The first one is uh, administration in the central level. We worked at the, the four roles, major roles. The first one is the promoting and overseeing all levels uh, and times yeah, and type of education, especially formula, formulation for education, policy, uh, plan and standard in education. Uh, the second one is uh, mobilization of the resort for education. That is a big one because right now we have the uh, 31,000 schools. That's why we have to, uh, can take a lot of resources for education. The third one is uh, uh, promotion and coordination in religious affairs.